I'm standing right here, right off the St. Clemente Pier, and right behind me, there's a huge barge dropping a bunch of rocks into the ocean. And it might seem like it's a little bit strange, but there's actually a scientific reason why this is happening. And I'm here right now with Jenny McGee. She's the project manager for this project. It's the Wheeler North Expansion Project from Southern California Edison. What's going on right here? Well, we're building an artificial reef. Essentially, we're building a 200-acre expansion to the existing Wheeler North um, artificial reef that's already here. So when we're all done, we're going to have 374 acres of artificial reef off the coast of San Clemente. For some background, Southern California Edison started building the Wheeler North Reef in the late 90s after the California Coastal Commission determined that the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station was harming marine life. See, in order to cool down the power generators at the plant, which get really hot, the plant has to suck in ocean water. But when it puts it back, the water's still warm. That process was destroying the nearby kelp forest. This reef is being built to replace and then some. I mean, essentially returning those resources that were lost temporarily during the operations of the plant. McGee says the rocks allow kelp to grow, which brings back the marine life like fish. Construction of the initial reef ended a decade ago, but now Edison is expanding it because the reef wasn't meeting some environmental goals, says Stephen Schroeder, an ecologist at UC Santa Barbara monitoring the reef for the Coastal Commission. The operation of the power plant knocked down the biomass of fish in the San Onofre kelp bed just south of the diffusers by 28 tons. So there would have been 28 tons more fish if the uh, power plant had not been operated. Schroeder says the current size of the reef isn't able to attract 28 tons of fish a year, which Edison is required to do. So it's expanding the reef to around 400 acres. The requirement is too great for it to be done in one season. So it's actually gonna, they're gonna build part of it um, this year, and then they're gonna complete it next year. Schroeder says the Coastal Commission won't be able to gauge the performance of the new reef until it's been around for a while. Jenny McGee agrees. She says Edison has to achieve 28 tons of fish and 150 acres of kelp forest for every operating year of the nuclear power plant, or 32 years. So what that amounts to is 4,800 acres of kelp habitat and 896 tons of fish. So we'll be counting and measuring for a long time here. McGee says this $20 million expansion project is being paid for by ratepayers. For KPBS News, I'm Shalina Chatlani.